Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Tuesday, June 23rd, 2015, and let's get to it. Champions may be crowned on stage, but they're made in the gym. And five weeks from today, Iron Mag Labs' Big John Ward will be looking to take home the super heavyweight and overall crowns at the 2015 USA Championships. Late last week, Ward put out some footage from a recent chest training session, where we see the super heavyweight powerhouse cranking out some easy reps with 405 pounds on the bench. At last year's USA, Ward brought in his best look ever but fell just short of knocking off eventual winner Nick Trigilli. But with Trigilli graduated to the pro ranks, the crown is up for grabs and looks to be Ward's for the taking. Big Jordan Ward won't be the only one headed to Las Vegas looking to make his mark. Former team prodigy Cody Montgomery will also be taking the stage to make his men's open national level debut. After dismantling the teen national scene for three straight years, Montgomery is headed to the USA to prove that he has what it takes to stand shoulder to shoulder with the big dogs of the sport. With just five weeks to go until the contest, Montgomery is pulling out all the stops as he enters the final phase of his contest prep. And should he manage to somehow squeeze out a victory in his first attempt at a pro card, the hype train will barrel full speed ahead, predicting great things for the champ. It's been a while since we've heard anything from Hide Yamagishi. After taking second earlier this year at the Arnold Classic, where he brought his best look to date, Yamagishi has managed to keep a relatively low profile. Just recently, however, he's been spotted putting in some major work at the gym as he enters into the early phases of his Olympia prep. When he's at his best, Yamagishi is an incredible athlete and has truly mastered the art of presenting his craft. But even if he's able to recreate a slightly better version of what we saw at the Arnold, it still may not be enough to propel him past the likes of Jose Raymond and Flex Lewis come Olympia time. It's been nearly two years since we last saw Antoine Vallier take a bodybuilding stage, but you wouldn't know it by looking at him. The most entertaining man in bodybuilding has been looking absolutely enormous as of late sparking rumors of his potential return to the bright lights. Back in 2013, during his rookie season, Vallier competed twice, but failed to bring anywhere close to the necessary level of conditioning either time. From a physique standpoint, he looks to have more than enough muscle to hold his own in the right lineup. But whether or not he can hold it all together long enough to really dial the look of a professional still remains to be seen. They say that you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but they didn't say anything about the old dog showing off a few new tricks of his own. Over the weekend, friend of RX Muscle, Dylan Armbrust, was spotted in the gym getting in a little bit of shoulder work a few months removed from having major shoulder surgery. Despite the fact that his ship has officially sailed north of 40, Armbrust still sports a physique that most athletes half his age would be lucky to have. But as the Masters Nationals draw closer by the day, Perhaps the wily old vet might catch a bite from the competitive bug once again and decide to throw his hat into the ring one more time for old time's sake. Stay tuned. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. Brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.